the city of brotherly love and Citizens Bank Park Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Texas Rangers taking on the Philadelphia Phillies. Hi folks, John Chomby alongside Chris Singleton. And Chris, we've got an opportunity to watch one of the true superstars in the sport, Marcus Simeon. Yeah, Boogie, he's one of the pillars of this lineup. And when you have a guy like that that's so consistent and so productive, you want to make sure you can do whatever you can to get him to the plate. Get him as many at-bats as you can in a ball game. If you do that, you've got a really good chance of scoring a lot of runs. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. All right, first pitch coming up. And on the hill, Ranger Suarez. And singing, it's not hard to see. He's been outstanding. Well, you just take a look at the numbers, ERA in the low ones. He's clearly been one of the best pitchers in the league this year. I mean, just dynamic stuff. It's electric as well as it Leading comes through the zone. Hitters it. trying to figure out the what he's doing. So hard to think with. And the only bad thing for him is that your ERA can really only go up. It's hard to take it down lower unless you throw a shutout. So we'll see what he's got in this one. And that one fouled off. You won. Rip to first. And now we take a look at the Rangers lineup. Someone who makes things happen for them, in part with his legs, Leody Tavares. Well, Boog, there aren't many guys who have a flair for the big moment like he does. I mean, batting over 400 with runners in scoring position. Are you kidding me? I know it's not guaranteed or an automatic, but I hope we get to see him in a close late game situation with runners in scoring position and just see, is he truly a machine or not? And he deals. Bounding ball here, rolls foul. One out, base is empty. The shortstop takes the ball. One down, base is empty. That one fouled off, two and two. And a pinch. Still two and two after the foul ball. Kicks and deals. That one 95 to finish him off. Well, just excellent location on that inside fastball. Really hooked him off. And as a hitter, it's not typically what you're looking for. You're trying to protect away and then in. So you can be a little bit tardy with two strikes. Hard to tell if he was fooled or if he thought it would be called a ball. But either way, that's a really nice pitch. Robbie Grossman stands in with two away as he takes a ball. Two out, space is empty. Clips the corner, and one it's ball. one and one, one. I mean, that's perfect location right on the black. I mean, over and over again, this guy demonstrates the ability to hit those spots. Well, we'll hold that thought as that's the third out, and we'll end the inning. No score as we head to the bottom of the first. here Citizens Bank Park getting the nod in this one John Gray yeah and as Whip tells you he's been pretty effective this year on the mound I mean opposing hitters having a hard time getting on base and then being able to really distract him and do damage in terms of getting around the base path so we're taking the mound this is a guy you want out there if you're his teammate and I expect him to be good in this one we go to the bottom of the first Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here the wind of the pitch there's a strike.
ball and one. downstairs. One ball. Two straight. The pitch. Bows it off. Still one and two. Left hand batter waits. Foul ball still one and two count. Right hander kicks deals. Oh, Just off the outside edge. Well, he's not afraid to fall into a two strike count. Knows the strike zone very well. So much so that I think umpires will look at him and determine whether it's a ball or strike if he swings or not. And now it is JT Real Muto. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. The wind of the pitch. Wait, wait. Chase that time. Just off the outside edge, and it's two and one. Last couple of pitches breaking balls away. I think he's going to have to come firm inside to be able to open up that location if he wants to go back there later in this count. And ball. another ball. Righty delivers. That's in there. Three and okay. two down. Throughout history, the fastball down has been the most successful pitch. Guys can handle a little bit better these days, you, but they, of course, still prefer something belt high. Got a great back and forth in that at bat. That he had to play off some really close play play. pitches, and wow. somehow Bogey found a way to keep wow. the bat on the shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. And that one fouled off. And at first, one away. One ball. One and strike. a pitch out, but nothing going on. Oh. A little bit high. Two and one. Just no. off the inside edge. Chris with that distraction and a speedy guy at first. He's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. And oh. ball four to him. His ability to draw walks has been something that's been part of his career since day one. Oh, oh, oh. Two on, one out. And next will be the cleanup hit. Alec Ball. And now after four, throw back in, hurts the runner with third. Base is now loaded. Only one away. No waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. That's a ball that a lot of times you'll see the shortstop or left fielder be able to get to if it hangs up in the air long enough. But right there, it just died and found a way to drop in on the green stuff with base hit. This oh. is Bryson's stop. The shortstop takes the ball. On the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. Base is loaded. One away. Just missed. Well, they're really running up the pitch count in this first inning. Lots of confidence from this team that is perhaps the hottest in baseball right now. Could be two. There's one. Not in time at first. It's a fielder's choice. I promise you, there are guys that get a little bit faster when they can smell an RBI. That was a possible inning ending double play. Great hustle, but he gets rewarded with the RBI because of it.
Here's Nicholas Castellanos. First pitch misses. There are lots of pitches thrown in this first inning, and it's kind of that nightmare scenario for starting pitching. But you know what? It's still early enough. He can settle in. He can get some length if he just cleans up his mechanics a little bit. And there's the strike. One and one. Strike. The pitch. And that one is lifted in the air. Tavares going after it. He's got it. And that's the third out. Two men left stranded, but they do push across one. We move on to inning number two here in Philadelphia. It's the Phillies one and the Rangers nothing. Stepping in for the Rangers. Heim having a lot more success on the road this season. Suarez back to work. Fouled off. He was late. Fought off foul. Ball, it stays nothing in two. And now the lefty fights that one away, and the count remains 0 and 2. Also, really good at bat. What I like about this guy, his bat stays in the zone for a long time, gives him the ability to foul off tough pitches. Gets a piece, and it stays 0 and 2. Pitch. That misses the zone. Now one and two. Well, this is a guy that can be frustrating for pitchers because he fouls off so many pitches and grinds out the at bat. I'm sure there's some times where a pitcher would rather just give up a first pitch single than have to waste six or seven pitches on one hitter. Strikeout. He's really good hitting the baseball the other way. So credit the pitcher for having him out in front of that pitch. Clearly he had a full. Up next for the Rangers, Ezekiel Duran. Sliced hard but foul. Duran goes 5 feet 11 inches 24 years old and he was born in the Dominican Republic. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. That one misses and that's ball one. And a pitch. Straight him out looking. Wow, that's a tough call for the hitter, but the pitcher will take that all day long. Not quite in the strike zone, but he found a spot that the umpire is going to, at least for now, allow him to get that call. So hitters are going to have to make an adjustment, but pitchers are going to learn from those things and really try to exploit them if they can. Nathaniel low up to hit. Marsh moves under it. He's there. He's got it. And that is that. Offense held a check there. Now to the bottom of the second. It's the Phillies one and the Rangers nothing. Back here in Philadelphia. We head to the bottom of the second. Here's the second baseman. Cody Clemens. The line to kick the pitch. 
inside just missed. As a veteran out there on the ball, you're trying to establish both edges of the plate. Right here, he's working inside. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. one ball, Matthew one Ross behind the plate. Pitcher's umpire. Yeah, pitchers that work side to side effectively love being on the mound with Ross calling balls and strikes, Boo. If you can command your stuff on the outer edges of the strike zone, he will reward you. Well, that one off the mark, and that's ball two. Fans don't really understand the familiarity and relationship players and coaches have with umpires. I mean, you see. And that one pulled foul. As the game has moved along, we see more and more information supplied by teams about the umpires. I've been in clubhouses where they have pictures of all four umpires, nicknames, hometowns, and as well hobbies listed, just so you can kind of small talk the umpire a little bit. <laughs> That's great. Brandon Marsh steps to the plate. This kid picked up in a trade. A lot was offered and given to get him, but he's got a real high ceiling. And first offering is fouled off. One and one. there's a ball. Foul ball. One down, base is empty. That one almost got him. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. Inside and he hit him. He had two strikes on him and he hit him. Well, the bad news is that pitch wasn't close. The good news, they were set up to turn two and get out of the end. Johan Rojas getting ready to hit. We talk about guys with good speed and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. Bray a move to first. Marsh dives back in safely. Well, he gets to balls that get by most people at that position. Just really impressive because there are certain oh. times the ball comes off the bat, automatically that okay. team that hit it thinks that they've got a base hit or they may have extra bases, and he just takes it away. Marsh leads off first with one away. Oh. Wouldn't chase that time. Ray high with that one. And now 3 and 0. Oh. Let's see if he gives him anything to hit here. And there's ball 4. Four pitches. That's an easy walk, man. Now he could have walked me right there. Oh, that one wasn't even close. All right, all right. Kyle Schwarber stands in for the Phillies. Went down on strikes his first time through. Can't find it here. That's six straight balls. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. The one up. In the air to left down the line. Durant drifts towards it, and that drops foul. And the pitch. This to center field. Tavares under it. Makes the grab. The catcher, JT. JT. And Real up to the Muto. plate is JT Real Muto. The walk and a run scored his first time. And 
good to swing and a miss. Just a bit tardy there. Not sure if he had a hard time picking it up out of the hand or if he was sitting off speed. And now the count is even. Oh, he never moved because he never had time to. With that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. And that's outside. And the count two and one. one. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. Two on, two outs. Three and ball. another ball. One First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count. The 3-1. Right through there for a strike. And boy, that was the pitch. 3-1, you want to be really aggressive on the fastball. Good job to fight that one off. Pitch. And that'll Thank load the bases. Now well, he's been in a very giving mood today. The first base hit number three. Bryce Harper to the plate. Oh. He reached out a walk his oh. first time. Oh. And that one upstairs. Okay. Loaded up, dangerous hitter at the plate. That one finds the corner. That's strike one. Oh. And another ball. Gordon, in situations like these, the air can get really thin up there at the plate. Got to find a way to breathe and slow everything down. And the righty deals. Next pitch in for a strike, and it's two and two laboring here about to throw his 30th pitch of the inning this one popped up Seeger under it and that will end the inning so they strand a pair we play two full it's the Phillies one and the Rangers nothing Josh Smith stepping in for the Rangers. Smith struggling on the road this season. Better results at home. Suarez back to work. He swings and misses at the first pitch. Going one. One ball, one there. One and a count one and two. Looking to get the tying run on base. And down on strikes he goes. One gone here. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. So next to hit for Texas, Derek Hill. And the first up. offering is not close. Trying to hold a one-run lead. We're here in the top half of inning number three. There's the strike. One one. Looked like it was a little bit up. A wind in the pitch. Ground ball to the right side. And that's just foul. And the pitch. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. Down, base is empty. Got him looking. Two away. Ah, the 
Uncle Charlie Boo kept it up his sleeve the entire bat to the sixth pitch. Snapped it off, dropped it in there, and just froze it. What's with the Uncle Charlie nickname? I mean, people use it all the time. Doesn't feel like it's it's common knowledge as to why. Yeah, I don't know. Um, sounds like something we could find on the interweb, though. Yeah, I think you're probably right. But why not, like, Uncle Carl or something like that? Uncle Curly. Uncle Boo. Well, but then what would it be, a breaking ball? <laughs> Two down, nobody on. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there was just no one there to knock it down. And now let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. Now it's Marcus Simeon. Over one so far. First pitch doesn't find the zone. That's a big run over there at first base. He's got some speed. Let's see if they send him. Tavares leads off first with two down to the inning. Left field. Marsh moves under it. Brings it in for the third out. Rangers leave one. They still trail one nothing. And now it's Alec Bohm. His home and away splits the there. Alec Bohm. The pitch. Fly ball center field. Tavares grabs it on the run. The batter, number five. Shortstop. Bryson. And digging in for Philadelphia. Bryson stopped. 0 for 1. He hit into a fielder's choice his first time. In the air, right side. Hill pulls that one down, and there's two away. Maybe caught that one off the end just no, a right little bit. Couldn't Number quite barrel it up enough to really yeah, drive yeah. it. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. 0 for 1 with a fly out to center. Ball. And that's inside. off the inside edge. 1 and 0. And yeah, that's a little high. Right through there for a strike. The two on. There's a strike. Just misses. Mm, that was pretty close on the inside, and obviously he's not too happy with the call out there on the mound as he lets the umpire hear it a little bit. This is where you can't let that frustration compound itself, though. You gotta let it out and move on. Two outs. Hey. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And good work there as he gets a one-two-three. Down quickly, go the Phillies. But they still lead it one-nothing. Out of the fourth so now it's Corey Seager a lot of times you're looking for a guy to get that tie and run on base but because of the power you want him to tie up the game with one swing here and immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter not even close there and it's one and one
Kicks and fires. The oh. shortstop takes the ball. No, they try to get him to go. Chase the pitch down and away, but he wouldn't bite. Wouldn't Three chase goal. that time. Right. Expect for that guy to come right at you with a fastball, something in the zone, because he does not want to allow the leadoff wall. Outside, oh, and that is ball four. I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there anyhow. Leading off with the ring no ring. outs. Runner at first. Now it's Robbie Grossman. He's over for one. Laid off man is on. You got to be looking for the bunt here. Trying to get him into scoring position. That oh. one finds the zone. Strike one. Well, we call that key hole. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. And he deals. On the ground, could be two. Over to Stauber one. Back to first, and it's over his head. And it's going to wind up out of play. Kelly hung in there at second to get the out. But the return throw to first was way offline. And I have to think the runner coming in the second had a part in that. You can't assume the double play, but because the batter moves up past first, he does get charged with a growing error right there. Now a move being made at second base. Coming in as the pinch runner, Evan Carter. Now the catcher for the Rangers, Jonah Heim. 0 for 1, he struck out swinging last time. And fouled off. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit's probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. Holding on to a one-run lead, top half of inning number four. That's, That's inside. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much. He's trying for third. Hey. Swing and a miss. And that's a stolen base, not even close. Wow, that's a pretty elite throwing arm right there from the catcher spot. Pretty daring for him to try to steal third right there, but he gets the bag. Maybe the element of surprise was what came in because he's not used to guys running on him, and right there, still at third base, probably caught him off guard a little bit. The one, two. On a line. Brings it in. Here comes the runner from third. He scores. That's a big sacrifice fly. We're tied at one. Sometimes that can be a little tough to score on. He was hit so hard that getting back to the bag, the tag, takes a little bit of time by the time that outfielder catches it. But a really good job of getting that run in from third. And there's a foul ball. The line of the pitch. Now oh. one and one. One and one. Huh. And a big swing and a miss. Two down, nobody on. And now a flare into left. And oh, it goes oh, just oh. foul. Here comes a pitch. And another ball. And a pop-up. Right side. Foul territory. Harper drifts towards it. Tries to make the play, but it's foul. But an error to walk leads to a run. On now to the bottom of the fourth. All tied 1-1. One, one. Back here in Ooh, Philadelphia. Oh, bottom oh, four. Oh, and now for the, the Phillies, Cody Clemens. Oh, oh, and a pitch. Swing and that ball smashed on a line. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one away. Good 
piece of hitting right there. Nice hard line drive to the outfield. You're trying to get on base, represent that go ahead run. Can't hang your head on that at all. March in the box now. Take strike one. And I know you want to be patient as a hitter, but you got to be ready to jump on the first thing straight. And he got one right there, but left the bat on his shoulder. Base is empty one away. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Swing and a miss. As he was out front that time. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. And he beats it. That's a hit. Great try there. Always feels amazing getting a job done when the team needs you to come through. It's just bigger than your own individual stats. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Johan Rojas now at the plate. In there for a strike at the top of the zone. And one and one. March over at first with one away. This one in the air. He's under it. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. Two down. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little bit. But and it it. It. So now the DH spot, Kyle Schwarber. Gotta be careful with this guy. He's got power. He can untie it with one swing. Oh. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And the right-hander deals. Oh. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. And he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Gray a move to no, first. Easy. March back easily. Two outs. Fly ball down the line. Nobody can get there, and it's a foul ball. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. I really think the outer half is open. Swing and a miss, and he chases that one in the dirt. Heim collects, fires to first. That completes the strikeout inning over. One left for Philadelphia. Score remains deadlocked at one. Welcome back to the ballpark. The Top five, John Shami with Chris Singleton. Nathaniel and leading it off, Nathaniel Lowe. Lowe. The wind of the pitch. Wouldn't chase that time. Off the mark there. And yeah, that's ball two. Up the middle, Clemens. Off balance throw in time. And the leadoff hitter retired in the fifth. First of all, that's just a nice job to even get to that ball. And then even more impressive was the throw. Off balance, had to try to end the air, get his shoulders turned, and make a strong throw. Does show off the strength of the arm. We're usually used to seeing that kind of arm strength from the shortstop. Smith in the box now. Takes strike one. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. One down, base is empty. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. Stays alive. A 
Ball tied up. And we're at the top of the fifth. Swing and a miss. Threw him out. He swung over top of the curveball. I got to think that was the plan all the way. He set him up with a high fastball and then bury that curveball down low to get him swinging. Now, especially with how effective pitchers work up in the zone these days, that's a devastating combination. Derek Hill will hit next. His first at bat was a strikeout. That one fouled off. And a curve misses outside. One, ball, one strike. That catches the corner. Kicks Indians. Fights that one away. Still one and two. Another ball. Two down, nobody on. Battling here as he fouls it away. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. Rangers go down in order. Three up, three down for him there. Last half of the fifth coming up. All tied, 1-1. One, one. And we're back. We head to the bottom of the fifth. JT Real Muto steps in. The right-hander back to work. And that's through there for a strike. Bullpen action for the Rangers. Andrew Heaney, the veteran southpaw, is getting ready to come on if needed. Lorenzen, the right-hander, loosening up as well. Owen oh, Chu now. That one missing inside. Swing and a miss struck him out. The bat. The foot. There's Bryce Harper. He's hitting well here at Citizens Bank Park, which is more of a hitter's park. Take on the outfield gap like that. Beautiful swing ball. Let the ball get a little deep and drove it to the opposite field. Now just one swing away from potentially rocking this thing up. Looks like we've got a substitution at second. Pinch running for the Bills. Edmundo Sosa. He's a potential winning run, so they're hoping he can score in a base hit. One out, runner at second. Alec Bohm digs in now. Out towards right center field. Brings it in. And there's two away. Up next is Philadelphia. Not shortstop. Bryson Stott stands in for the Phillies. Oh, how he'd love to walk it off right here. It's in and out of his glove. But they get the out of first, and that'll do it for the inning. One hit, one left. Five innings complete. All tied, 1-1. 
So coming into the game now on defense, now Edmundo first. Sosa. He Number takes three. over as the new first baseman. Edmundo. Back here in Philadelphia, top of the sixth inning. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Leone Tavares. Man at second, nobody out. Chris. Certainly one of the things in his head is trying to get the runner over. Yeah, the way that we see the game played today, though, guys are not sacrificing as much just to get that runner across. They're really looking at doing damage. Slugging is the name of the game. Yeah, I think part of that goes into it's just so hard to come up with hits. In today's game, starters don't go deep, and so no, hitters are seeing up. multiple pitchers every night, and that makes it more challenging just to come up with a single. Man at second. On the ground right side. Tosses to the pitcher covering the bag. And that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth. Not a bad outcome in that spot. The runner moves up to third and now they have a chance to drive in the go ahead run. It's not a hit but at the end of the day it's a good at bad especially when you're playing extra innings. Machine, another clutch run scoring at bat. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want, but his resume speaks for itself. One down, runner at first. Corey Seager stepping in for the Rangers, known for his late inning heroics. Right through there for a strike. One run game, one out, one on. Snap throw to first. Simeon back in. One and one. Pitch out, but no action. Left-hand hitter waits. In the air, right field. Castellanos makes the catch. Now that designated hitter. Carter. Next, it'll be the Texas DH. Evan Carter entered the game as a pinch runner. First plate appearance for him here. Started after it. Appeal to third. No swing. He held up. Daryl Parker with the call there. Two outs. Oh. Two balls. No strike. Pitch misses there, and it's 3 0. That oh, just four. missed. He walked him on four pitches. That just came apart right there. Four pitch walk, and the guy at the play was not going to help him eight. out by swinging at something Jonah out of the zone. Huh. And here's the catcher, Jonah Heim. Singy, he's got a history of coming through in the big spots. I know I like to talk about, I'm not sure whether clutch actually exists, but you look at the numbers, and this guy always seems to deliver in those spots. And there's a hit. Simeon rounds third, headed for the plate. In there. Hey. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch he could get the barrel on and lined it in the center for the knock. Those always feel good. So up next, Ezekiel Duran.
Right through there for a strike. And here it comes. This one high in the air to left center. Sizes this one up. And that'll do it. But two runs for him, and they jump ahead. Six, seven, eight, two in the bottom of the sixth. It's the Rangers three and the Phillies one. Back here, Citizen Ooh, Bank Park. And now the right fielder, Nick the Castellanos. Well, boy, this is a real tough place for visiting teams to come in and close out ball games for a win. First First offering misses okay. badly for ball one. Right. And that's in for a strike. Tonight, his slider has been really impressive. I mean, tight spin. Seems like the hitters aren't picking it up out of the hand. Tying run at the plate. And a count one and two. Missed. He's gone off speed. He needs to elevate here with two strikes out of the zone. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Duran should have this one. One up, one down. The bat, the second base. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. John Gray will depart, but he leaves with the lead after giving them some decent innings. We'll be back with a new pitcher in a moment. Righty reliever out of the pen, Jose Leclerc. A chance at his first save of the year. Now it's the second baseman, Cody Clemens. There's a strike, 95 of that one. Runner edges away at second. Runner breaks for third. Over to third, but he pulls offline. Well, sometimes still third base can be tough, especially if that shortstop or second base winner making some noises, moving towards the back, try to make you think that you've got to stay close. Well, they didn't do a very good job of that. Get a comfortable lead, got a great jump, and that's how you steal third base. so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. And a 1-2 again. And another ball. Righty delivers. Ground ball right side. Now two away as they get a run across. So important to really lock in on an at-bat like this. It seems easy with the infield back, but you've got to make sure you no, put no. the ball in play. Put no, it on the ground. Yeah. Yeah. So they're down to their final out. Yeah. Now the left fielder, Brandon Marsh. No. Ball one, no oh. strikes. Oh. And a swing and a miss there. One and one. Trying to close out a one-run lead here in extra innings.
Swing and this one's bounced to the ground. On the run, sends it over to first. Safe, he beats it. One out away from this game being over, but an infield single keeps him alive. They're still breathing, and maybe this provides that last-minute spark. Two outs, runner on first. So digging in now for Philadelphia, Johan Rojas. With the tying run on at first, yeah, the home team trying to pull it out. Here comes the pitch. Runner breaks for second. There's a ball. From the second tag. Wow! And that's the ball game. His first career save deserves to be on display at his house. I mean, it's kind of like when a restaurant frames its first dollar bill somewhere on a wall. You just can't forget your first save. 3-2 the final score for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chavi. Thanks for joining us. The final line for for our ball game tonight for the victorious Rangers. Three runs on three hits, no errors. They left.